Alrighty, YouTube, how are we all today, guys? What is going on? It feels good to be back, you know, sitting in my little chair, recording some YouTube videos, something I haven't done in about three weeks' time, and I just freaking knack first attempt. That's actually what I've been doing, guys. Over the past two to three weeks, I've been learning the knack, you know, it becomes that easy. I just freaking knack left, right, and center nowadays. Show you guys right now, it is actually the combo I'm going for. I just freaking knacked again. I'm a freaking beast. <laughs> but in all seriousness, guys, what we're actually going to be doing today, we're making a Black Ops 1 floaters video, which is something. I haven't done before. I'm super excited to be doing it. Now, the reason I haven't done it in the past is simply because you can't actually disable enemy weapons on this game, and the bots on this game are freaking beasts. They're kind of like Call of Duty Ghosts, so getting clean, good attempts, it can be quite difficult. But then again, guys, we are kicking things off today on the map of Ray, and because I'm in the tower here and I'm running attack, it's actually quite easy to get attempts. Like, you guys probably won't see the full potential of the bots because they don't even see me up here. So getting attempts from here comes by quite easily, like this one right here, the old fakey kind of zoom in thing. If a bot was there, it would have been barrel stuff and yeah, it would have been garbage. Another thing with this game, guys, you can't actually change the bot's health. So all the bots are running around in normal health right now, which obviously means I can get hit markers. So that's kind of a pain in the ass. But then again, it does add an anticipation element to this video because I just really don't know whether I'm going to hit marker or whether I'm going to hit the stinky. And to make matters worse, guys, freaking trying to hit a no scope on this game is near impossible. So to actually hit a trick shot, it's pretty damn difficult. But hey, I'm here today. I'm making the video. It's worth a shot and the end result is going to be freaking dope. Because the past two to three weeks I have taken off, I've been kind of teaching myself how to edit on Vegas as well as After Effects. In my intro, for example, you guys would have seen my little Predator effect and it's things like that I want to start adding and kind of incorporating into my videos just to make them that much more enjoyable for you guys to watch. But obviously the downside for me doing this, it takes a lot longer to produce videos and the fact that I'm working six days a week every single week now and I've got uni start next week, I have got like literally no time on my hands to be doing things like this. So my videos might only come about maybe once every fortnight or something like that, just because, like I said, I've got no time whatsoever. But uh, yeah, I believe that's really about it. That's kind of everything I wanted to talk about. So um, yeah, for the very first shot today, guys, I do want to hit the old 720 kind of knack combination. I may go for the 1080 knack here and there as well. By the way, I'm trying to knack with the ballistic knife. But as you guys have probably seen in my Black Ops 2 floaters videos, I think I do prefer simply just going for 720s because when you float, it just looks so much more cleaner when you're more high up. Like when you're 1080, you're kind of lower on the ground and for that reason, I don't know, the floaters just don't look as good. So let's see if we can get this knack again. I don't know how I got it like twice in a row at the start of the video, but I freaking did. Okay, so at least when you miss the knack on this game, you can still go for your attempt and your shot still looks pretty clean. Now something I've noticed with my Clips of the Month series, guys, no one has ever linked me, well I think someone probably has, but from memory, no one has ever linked me a Black Ops 1 freaking non-setup trick shot. So if you guys happen to want to link me some Clips, please try and hit a Black Ops one stinker because I'm telling you guys I'm going to be hitting them for you guys today and by the end of this video I'll let you guys know how freaking fun and enjoyable it is to actually hit trick shots on this game Oh my god, I freaking got the knack. I just randomly went for an attempt when no bot was there and I got the knack. Only if a bot was there, because the bullet trail was like hell straight and everything as well. Did someone say temper shot suey freaking fakey across the world? Okay, I don't think anyone said that. Say freaking smoker. I missed the knack, but holy shit, that was distance, guys. That was so freaking beautiful. I can most certainly confirm for you fellas that want to hit some clips for my Clips of the Month series, definitely give Black Ops 1 a good hot crack. It's so freaking fun, like just hitting that donger, it feels so good. I don't know what it is, I've never hit a floater on this game before, that just felt, I don't know, it was such like an adrenaline rush, it just felt so good. Anyways guys, I think it's time we jam some map number 2. Now for the second map, I do actually have some DLC maps here I would love to play, however, in today's episode I think we should be playing on the default map, so I feel as I 
Josh would place in WMD just because it even says at the bottom there the map size is large so this is going to be a tough map to hit but I know if I manage to hit a donger it's going to be such a freaking smoker. Do you know what I just realised guys for all my new subscribers when I say donger and smoker they probably have no clue what the hell's going on. They're probably thinking I'm speaking some random ass language that isn't even English. One weird thing about Black Ops 1 guys every time the game ends you've got to reset the stats like the stats kind of reset themselves so you've got to reset it back to how you want it if that makes any sense so um yeah that's about it this is the class i'll be using throughout this map guys so i've got this pistol here with the full auto upgrade attachment on it which basically means i can spray the frick out of it and that's pretty cool because i believe this is the only game where you can actually get a fully automatic freaking pistol Alrighty, guys let's make this nice and quick because i've actually got to take my name to a doctor's appointment very very soon then after that i've got to go to work like always do my eight to nine hour shift then from there i actually go to gym to about midnight and then basically yeah once i get home i kind of just repeat the process the following day dude i can already tell oh my god the bots are freaking beast but what i was gonna say guys i can already tell this is gonna be so much fun this is such a donger map check it out you ready just freaking smoke out just imagine hitting that over the wall i don't think i've mentioned yet guys but at the end of this video i am gonna be having a pretty big surprise for you guys so i highly recommend you stick around to the end of this video because i feel as though some of you guys may get a little excited by it some of you guys may not care but for now we'll try and hit that two piece holy shit there was a bloke there just imagine if i hit that how about the combo guys like it honestly looks so freaking nice this attempt guys i actually spice it up a bit for you zoom in kind of the spray oh my god there's a bloke there Hopefully you enjoyed the video. So as you would have seen, I did join Vault Nation as a trick shotter. Super excited just because, I don't know, now I kind of have a reason to hit clips. I can make some montages, play with other members. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm guessing a lot of you fellas are probably wondering why I joined Vault over any other private match team. It's simply because my editors in the team, I've just been jamming some Skype calls with him recently. And because of that, I've met other Vault members, just been speaking to them. And yeah, they just seem like cool, chilled out guys. So I just thought, hey, you know what? Why don't I join the team? Be a part of it. Have some fun. So that's what I did. Yeah, it's about it, guys. So, um... Yeah, it took me about two weeks to make this video just because I've been so busy. Normally, it'll probably only take me about a couple days or so. But the whole predator edit to this video, I had to learn how to do that. That took me a little while. But at the moment, I have downloaded After Effects. And I really want to start learning how to edit on that software. Obviously, that's way more complicated than Sony Vegas. But I feel as though after a couple weeks, I will get the hang of it. And I want to start adding like 3D animations to my videos and shit like that. For example, with my predator edit, I would love to shoot the enemy and then do like this crazy kind of 3D aspect where you actually follow the bullet into the enemy. Stuff like that would be super dope and you obviously can't do that on Sony Vegas but you can on After Effects. So over these next few months, you know, combining work and university and learning how to edit on After Effects, I may be very inactive on this YouTube channel but I just want to inform you guys that I'm still around, I'm still doing things. I just may not physically be there uploading videos but trust me, behind the scenes I'm still working on things at least once a day in terms of editing, maybe just simply 
possibly making a cut comm type of video. But yeah, I don't want to make my videos basic. I want them to have some theme to it, something exciting. So once I've made those videos, it's about editing it, putting it together, and that may take a few weeks. But saying that, guys, that's really about it from me. So hopefully you guys enjoy your day. Just make sure you come back to my YouTube channel. Click on it once a week. See if I've uploaded. If I have, watch it. Leave a like. You know, no, you don't have to leave a like. Do whatever you want. Anyways, I'm going to go. Got to go see my nan, take her to a doctor, go to work, go to gym. See you later, guys. Oh,